for Cherry Hill East, we've got Kohler Khan, and for Cherokee at 144, Max Milligan, sophomore. As the fourth bout begins, Cherry Hill East certainly hoping to turn the tides here. All right, exchange there. Cherokee's Milligan comes in as a third place finisher in the district last year. The slide by by Khan. They're both on their feet, so no control yet. You see the ref. No one has control yet as they stay on the feet. Now as they go to the mat, Khan secures a takedown and a two-point advantage. So even though there were neutral, Khan was behind him. He didn't score his points until they got to the mat. Good start here for Khan, who's able to get get his East an advantage, first one they've had in a little while. Khan was a fourth place finisher at the Overbrook tournament earlier this year, and looks like he's got a far side cradle locked up there. Milligan breaks the grip. Got 20 seconds left in the first. Khan looking to stay in control on top. And Milligan works for an escape late in the period for a point. Cuts Khan's lead to two to one at the end of the first period. Yeah, Milligan there in the closing stages of the period is able to get himself onto the board and shrink the deficit just to make it a little more manageable. Khan starting on bottom, Milligan on top. Milligan looking to get a breakdown here. He's got a leg in. Khan continuing to move, looking to improve his position. Now Milligan's got both legs in. He's looking to get him broken down flat, which he does. Milligan looking to work that half in. As they go out of bounds. Milligan had that half working and Khan looked to, uh, looked to get himself out of bounds to get out of trouble, come back for a fresh restart. Khan up to his feet, Milligan breaks him down. Looks to get that leg back in, and he does. And Khan with the reversal. Two-point reversal, now he's looking to go to work on top, extends his lead to four to one. Milligan now, he's gotta focus on getting out off bottom. Milligan up to his base. Looking to get to his feet here. Khan continuing to try to stay in control. Got 30 seconds left in the second period here at 144 pounds. Kohler Khan with a four to one lead over Max Milligan. Ten seconds left in the second period. And that's where we'll finish the second period. Khan takes a four to one lead 
into the third period. Milligan's going to choose bottom. The margin certainly got worse for Milligan there, but he was definitely able to prevent any further damage. And only being down three entering the third period is certainly a manageable score for him. Yep, he'll look to, look to score some points here. Khan looking to get it on his, his offensive here on top with the, putting the leg in, trying to get Milligan broken down. Khan continuing to ride tough on top here. Milligan working through his base, looking to get up to his feet. Up to his feet, Khan brings it back to the mat. Milligan right back to his feet, looking to get to his escape. Looking, and they go out of bounds. Come back for a restart. Milligan will remain on bottom with a minute 12 left in the third period. Milligan there, taking things out of bounds, trying to avoid further damage. Oh, Milligan looked to have a window there to possibly score some points. Khan comes out on top. Got 45 seconds left in the third. Milligan getting some motion here. To try to open up a window to score some points. Khan continuing to stay in control on top. Milligan's up to his feet. Khan brings him back to the mat. Stalling call on Khan. Stalling call is when the official feels that either wrestler is not continuing to try to improve their position. So Khan was staying parallel, just trying to keep Milligan down. It's just a warning, so no points awarded. An additional stall call would result in a point. But just a warning as we approach the end of the match. Khan continues to stay in control on top and we'll finish there. At 144 pounds, we've got a four to one decision for Kohler Khan over Max Milligan, Cherokee. Now brings the score back to 10 to six in favor of Cherokee.